Good morning, fishing freaks. It's early in the morning. We're gonna try some new ponds I found a couple weeks ago when I drove this way. I never fished here before. I thought that's probably gonna be a good frog bite in the morning. So we just gave it a shot. It's like five, oops, no, it's 6.19. I'm a little bit late, like always, but you're gonna get this. To support the channel, take five seconds and like, subscribe and hit the bell button. But anyways, let's prep our fishing gear and go fishing. Can't believe there's nothing sitting in the grass here. But that's sometimes how it is. I mean, if you have so many good cover places, then you just have to pick it apart. I mean, I tried to find the best spots. I thought this spot here is a really good option because if there's deeper water, that would be a nice spot for a bed. Got one. No, I missed them. Okay, just missed my first bite. It wasn't a big blow up, but it was a blow up. Okay. Guess I give him another chance. Just as a tip, every time when you miss a fish on top water and you didn't commit, want to commit again on it, throw a thing go there. Most of the time, you get a bite on this. Got one. You nibbled on it, bro. Hey, dude, you have almost no teeth. You're slippery, you know. <laughs> right where we want the hook set. That dude got some shoulders. Look at this guy. Okay, on the underspin. Guggen Squad, Saucy Swimmer, and a Gamagatsu underspin. Or is it an owner? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's an owner. There we go. Bye. So maybe the underspin is the juice this morning. He definitely like nipped on it and then he came back and nipped on it and I had to like kill it and then he committed. Almost didn't have to buy it. Okay, let's go a little bit further down. Okay, try. Fish a little bit here along the bank. And here's a couple bushes on the side that look pretty good, but you're probably not able to see the blow up, so that's a little bit tricky. No, no, I see my frog. If you guys, if you guys want me to film a video, how to fish a frog or topwater in general, just leave me a comment down below and then I will take care of it. Doesn't look too shabby. I'm uh, gonna fish that spot here a little bit. And then we're gonna go and try that other pond. Oh, they're connected. I didn't, I didn't see that. She got one. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. Oh, those are healthy fish in here. Come on. Oh, 
sorry about. Okay. No picture, all right. That's actually a good start in the day. Already two fish, not even 30 minutes here. And they're all healthy. Got one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, come up. Oh yeah. So my friends, that's the third fish for this morning. We are maybe 30 minutes in, maybe maybe 45. Um, I started on the other end and here are good healthy fish in there. Like they're all got some shoulders, they all fight really well. We're pretty. Let him go. Oh, wrong way. There you go, girl. <laughs> I think that little transition here between the two ponds is a good spot this morning. A lot of movement on the bank and on the water. And I had two bites in a row on top water, so. It's a good start for a pattern. So my plan is fish this morning as long as my batteries let me fish and I'm gonna go home, hit the gym with my wife, charge my batteries and then I might go fishing again. This looks awesome here. I don't just don't see really access to it right now. But it looks it looks really good. You're gonna have a blast out here with a kayak. 100%. Oh. Okay, let's let's try to walk around there. I don't know if there's any access to the pond, but we will figure that out. I hate walking through high grass, especially after the last video. There are just too many chances to run into a snake. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's the best access. Oh, there's a big R. I decided to go back. Oh, got one. Swimming at me. I don't, oh yeah, I think it's a good one. Decent head shake, definitely. <laughs> Wowzer. I don't know how to grab them here that's so cool never caught one of those can't remember how they call you're gonna fly i'm sorry bro cool on the net rig leave me a comment down below if you know what kind of a fish that is i'm not 100 percent sure it's i'm bad i'm sorry i had to take a little break so now we're back on a pretty pretty ponds here and try to catch some big ones. I rigged up with a bobber popper, a yellow one, because the water is a little bit um, muddy. I have the little Ellen from River DC rigged up on my frog rod. And right now I have still the saucy swimmer from Guggen Squads with an underspin on one rod. And this morning I found two or three more pounds in this way. So we all together four pounds. I didn't notice at all. And <clears throat> so I was pretty bummed out that I have to go home. Anyways, let's catch some fish. I tried a water copper first, just for the reason I never ever caught the fish on a water popper. I have to be careful, this thing casts a mile. I think it's the 130. All right, look it up and link it down in the subscription. Oh, there's a beaver. Who used to watch the Beaver Brothers back in the days? Is that even a thing here in the United States? I don't know. I think it's from Nickelodeon. It should be. And then they had that little side show with the stump. I used to love that show. Now it's probably like, holy crap, what is this? Oh, he's back. He's right here. Oh, no, he's here. Hey, buddy. That's 
so cool. He's coming back. It's probably his house here. He's probably pissed. No. Leave him alone. I don't want to hook him. And so earlier when the sun was up, he was an edge. Now he gets like a drop off. So I try to remember where it was and try to fish it. Because that's a really good ambush point for bass. <gasps> no! Just tied my stink on and ripped on the line accidentally. Alright. Uh oh. Got one. Damn, it's a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I only got one on the bubble popper. Thought already this never happened. Got one. Another one. There you go. Oh, 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 catch and release. That was a good one. But you see, like, both bites came and I stopped. I'm like, Reeling in, stop. Start reeling again right in that moment when I start. Boom. I'm guessing as they follow and then it stops, they stay behind and they look at it. And then the moment when it keeps going, they're like, nah, and then they attack. They're really into that bobber popper right now. What's great because that's why I bought it. Okay. I think I call it a day and go home. Maybe you can fish on that other pond a little bit. Depends the light situation, but here right now, it's bad. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and use the bell. So you are always up to date what's going on my channel. That's it for me. Peace. I'm out.